Hello, welcome back to Project Air This Week. I'm James, and today we're carrying on the Space Shuttle program. If you subscribe to the channel, then you'll have seen that in the first part of this series, we designed and built an RC glider based on the Space Shuttle Orbiter. And in the second part, we strapped it to a large plane and dropped it with, shall we say, mixed results. <laughs> follow the glider, follow the glider. <laughs> <laughs> in the end though, the model orbiter worked rather well, which gives me hope that if it gets that far, the shuttle will fly when released from its rocket powered booster. This is the third part of the space shuttle project series so stay tuned it is absolutely horrible out here today this is what the weather is like around where i live so what i thought we'd do is spend the day inside getting this space shuttle constructed we're going to be uh, building the srbs and the uh, fuel tank there have been a few changes made to the design since uh, i last told you about it so let's get started by uh, discussing what's changed and going over the design oh it's very much nicer in here um Right, let's get this uh, booster plan up. So I drew this up the other day. So we have the top section here. There's a few different sections of the rocket. There's uh, this bit which gets blasted off the top, takes the parachute with it like a normal model rocket. We've got the two SRBs on the two sides. Uh, they're pretty much just dummy SRBs. Originally, we were going to have two rocket motors in there. But as some of um, you guys have said uh, in the comments down below, it's probably going to be a bit of a nightmare trying to light three rocket motors. So what we're doing instead of just having two rocket motors, we're going to have one in the centre section here, and we're going to have one in the uh, going to have a smaller one in the uh, space shuttle just here. So that's how it's going to work. That's the uh, the basic plan. Um, and I think it's going to be all right. I mean, that's I've done the maths on it, uh, and we're, we're going to get a couple of hundred feet. It's not going to go for miles, but I'm thinking that this design is probably the best way to go. Let me know in the comments though if you have any suggestions. Let's uh, let's crack on with it and let's get this uh, this build underway. This plan, along with others, are available on my website. So just go and check that out with the uh, link in the description, and you can build one of these yourself. All right, now we've got this uh, plan here. The next thing to do is to start on the actual build and measuring these shapes and cutting them out. But first, we're going to, you guessed it, get a cup of tea. Okay. Just to show you what the materials are that I'm using on this build, we could be using proper model rocket components like uh, are used on this rocket just here. Uh, this has got a proper nose cone, this plastic nose cone, a standard body tube size and a proper motor mount that's been designed by a model rocket company. But what we're going to be doing instead to keep this nice and affordable so I don't have to spend much money on this project is just use stuff that I have already. So that's what this is designed around this design. So we've got two sort of like postage tubes here. This is going to be the skin of the rocket, it's just a normal nice flexible cardboard. And then the frame of the rocket itself, all the formers and things are going to be made out of this foam board, flight test foam board, that you make model aeroplanes out of. All of this stuff I've got already, oh yeah, and then we've also got a little parachute that I made. Yeah, all of this stuff, all up, is going to cost next to nothing. The first part of this build, uh, I've just spent cutting out some of these first pieces. That, um, that make up the formers, basically, of the uh, booster rocket. So there's about five of them, and they're just cut out of this foam board. And now we're ready to go on to the next bit, which is, oh yeah, the motor mount. So we're gonna use the SDS motor as a guide, wrap it up in some paper, and then cut the formers, and then make a really solid mount, basically. Um, would be good if we could use sort of, sort of wood or something like that on this, but um, I think foam will be fine. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack on. Okay, I've just finished doing the, uh, the motor mount and also making this box thing. Uh, so the box is designed to give the whole structure some rigidity and to basically act as the main structural component in this booster uh, fuel tank. And now I just need to sort of glue it together and stuff. So this is looking pretty good. It's got all of the frame all framed up and now we just need to put the skin on it really. Right, I just finished doing this uh, nose cone and I'm not going to lie, it just looks a bit sort of cobbled together. On camera, I'm hoping it's gonna be uh, just fine. So that fits on there, bosh. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that in the future I will be able to do less things with paper and templates and cardboard and stuff like that. I wanna move into more sort of aerospace grade materials and things and 
yeah, I, I feel like as this YouTube channel develops, and yeah, I'm able to put more time and stuff into this. We'll end up doing stuff with like carbon fiber and uh, aluminium and loads of different stuff, or aluminum, as a lot of you people say. <laughs> this thing's looking pretty nice now, so I think we're gonna finish the SRBs, uh, do a bit of work on the nose to finish that off. Obviously, we still need to build the new orbiter. From now on, um, I'm going to be including project files on my website, so you can get this shuttle, you can get this booster. Yeah, you guys have been asking me to you know, share my designs and I've decided that I am going to start designing stuff that I can share with you. Uh, so we're going to go and paint this thing now and hopefully it looks like a space shuttle fuel tank at the end. So it's almost done. Let me just put you on here for a second. Uh, you'll have to excuse the lighting, by the way, because the weather's doing all sorts of crazy things today. So it was snowing a second ago, and now it's like really sunny. So we've pretty much finished everything on this. Um, next episode, I'm going to be telling you more about the sort of physics and stuff. But as a quick uh, overview of how this thing is actually going to work, as a summary, you know, I've told you all this stuff already. But again, we've got the two rocket motors here. We're going to have uh, these big fins creating a very low center of pressure and these huge fins on the actual shuttle booster will counteract these big wings and things on the orbiter and then we're going to have the ejection charge from this blast the nose off and that's going to take this uh uh, the parachute out so I'm excited to see what happens one quick announcement um, the reason that I didn't post last week is because I've actually got a new full-time job and um, I'm yeah working for a company that makes model airplanes I'm still working for flight test but I'm also working for this company called the vintage model company which uh, you can check out the links in the description to that website if you're interested go and subscribe to the YouTube channel I'll link that in the description as well um, because I'm going to be in charge of producing all of their video content uh, along with other things so you can uh, watch me more regularly on um, sort of weekly videos that I'm doing for them in the near future so yeah check that out um, I thought you might be interested <laughs> that's why I'm telling you um, but if you're not don't worry about it <laughs> the next episode is going to be on building a launch pad for this thing because we haven't actually got a launch pad <laughs> which is quite essential um, that's gonna be like Arduino controlled have loads of high-tech cool things on it uh, an auto sequence LEDs lights a proper countdown it's going to be epic it's gonna be really cool so tune in for that make sure you follow me on Instagram to get more sort of day-to-day -day updates of this project and other things and thanks very much for watching again and I will catch you on the next episode of Project Air in about two weeks time. See you then. <laughs>